Hello everyone, this is Craig Chamberlain with the PC Michiana Tech Help Show. Hope you're all doing well today. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to test the connection between your computer and your router. Now, there's a number of different ways you can do this, and uh, a lot of it depends on your ability to interpret what's called a IP address, a subnet mask, and a gateway. I'm going to cover those a little bit when we go into that part of the video. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is go down to the Start menu and go ahead and select the button and in the box you're going to want to type in command and just press enter. What this will do is bring up your administrator command prompt. Now at this point there's a command that allows you to check what your current IP configuration is. What you do is you type in IPCONFIG which is short for IP configuration and you press enter. Now in my case I have a whole bunch of different devices, network devices because I have virtual machines but in your case, you'll probably only have one or maybe two of them. Probably a wired adapter and a wireless adapter. So let me go ahead and scroll up here to my network connections. And right now, I am connected to a wireless LAN adapter, wireless network connection. The numbers I'm really looking at here is the IPv4 address, which is 10.1.51.71. Now, your IP address is your unique identifier on your network. So this is actually unique to your computer alone, which means no other computers in your house should have that address on their computer. The subnet mask is a mask that basically says that the first three numbers are going to be the same. The last number is actually going to fluctuate. So the 10.1.51 on your network are going to remain static, but this number can be anywhere from, well, you don't want to say 1 to 255, because uh, it can't be 0 and it can't be 255. So I guess it's 1 to 254. And the gateway, which is typically your router, this is how you can actually test your connection, and this is the address that you want to test to make sure that you can connect to your router. Now, there's a couple different ways you can test this depending on the router. The first test I'm going to do is pretty much universal. It's called the ping test. So I'm going to scroll back down here, and I want to type in ping 10.1.51.1. Now notice that this address that I'm pinging is the address of my router. When I press enter, it's going to give me a reply from that router. So what I did is I sent a message out to my router and it bounced off my router or pinged off my router back to my computer. And then it gives you the time to live and how long it took. One millisecond, I'd say that's adequate enough. What you're really looking for here too is 0% loss. That's the most important thing. Now, now you know your connection to your router is good. That doesn't necessarily mean you're connected to the internet because remember your router has to be connected to the internet. Now, for a lot of modern routers, there's another test you can do. Just bring up your browser, any browser really, and uh, in the address bar, type in the address of the router, which was also the 10.1.51.1, and press enter. This will actually bring up the administrative panel. Uh, in my case, I have to log in because I set a username and password on my router. So, if you don't know the username and password, there's typically a default username and password. Just Google your manual for your router. So the, just Google the, the model number and uh, it'll tell you in there. It's usually admin, admin, or admin, super admin. It's usually pretty simple. Uh, some of them are admin, admin1. Um, but uh, <clears throat> find out what that password is and then just press log in. Either way, if you're greeted with that prompt, it means you do have a proper connection to your router. Now I'm not going to troubleshoot having uh, issues with your router connected to the internet. Again, that's so specific on the specific routers. This particular video just wanted to show you how to test your connection to your router. There's a lot of useful reasons to have this ability, and uh, in most cases, if you're not having internet connections, that's the first thing you want to test. So that's all there is to this video. As always, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to leave comments and ratings, and uh, don't forget to subscribe to me on YouTube, uh, like me on Facebook, and follow me on Twitter. Thanks again.